I was in Philadelphia earlier this week to uh, announce that Aramark was going to be staying in Philadelphia and moving to a, a new headquarters at 2400 Market Street. It's a great company. Uh, it's great for Philadelphia, great for Pennsylvania, and I'm happy to, that the state was able to participate in making sure they stay here and we retain those jobs. This week, Pennsylvania was honored to be chosen as one of seven states in the country by the National Governors Association to receive grants for uh, an opioid learning center. This is going to be a great help to us in our battle against opioid addiction, but it's also uh, a great affirmation of the good work we're all doing in Pennsylvania, Republicans and Democrats, to make this program work to address uh, the challenge, uh, the epidemic we all face here in Pennsylvania. The best social policy is a good family-sustaining job, and, and the Commonwealth can play a role in making sure that we have sites that are ready, shovel-ready, for businesses to create those jobs. And the industrial park that I went to last week in Berks County was one of those. The Commonwealth has uh, worked with local officials to make sure that project gets underway and that we have shovel-ready sites when businesses are ready to create the jobs we need them to create in Pennsylvania. So I was happy this week to, to go back to my home county, York County, to the city school district, uh, to the Ferguson School, and welcome the kids back to school, Ferguson Schools and Elementary School. Great to be there for three reasons. First of all, it's my home county. Second of all, I take education seriously and have done as much as I can to promote investment, increases in investment in education at all levels. Finally, I was there because York, the city school district, uh, is working through a recovery plan that seems to be working. They're ahead of schedule, they're doing a good job, and I wanted to, to first see how they were doing, but also compliment them on the progress they've made. And what I saw in, in York, one of the poorest school districts in the, in the Commonwealth, was a lot of teachers teaching with resources, a lot of kids doing some good learning. Uh, I saw the future of Pennsylvania in those classrooms, uh, and that's what should make all of us happy that we're investing.